हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मैनाक फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल फॉर बैक टू आर चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ सिविल साइड ज्ञान इन विच विल नो अबाउट पेडेस्टल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल नो व्हाट इज अ पेडेस्टल एज यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर ऑफ द साइट दिस इज अ कॉलम व्हिच विल बी कास्टेड फर्दर दिस इज अ पेडेस्टल एंड दिस इज अ फुटिंग सो टू गिव अ ब्रीफ आईडिया बोथ पेडेस्टल एंड कॉलम आर कंप्रेशन मेंबर्स व्हाई द पेडेस्टल इज प्रोवाइडेड इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो pedestal is provided to transfer the loads of the columns to the footing now let us see let us find out what is code says about it and how to calculate the reinforcements or how to assign the reinforcements in pedestal and how to assign the size of the pedestal and up to which size it is a pedestal and which size it is a column so the details will know in our is code so we have open is 456 and let us see what is 456 says about it so we in the clause 26.5.3.1 let us find out so here the basically a definition is given of the pedestal now uh, it is written that pedestal is a compression member the effective length of which does not exceed 3 times the least lateral dimension so now what does this mean so suppose we have a column size let's say we have a column here and the size of the column is 250 into 300 so the column size let me just uh, type it out column size is equals to 250 into 300 so the least lateral dimension here of the column is your 250 so according to this definition the effective length of which does not exceed the max 3 times the least lateral dimension so maximum length of pedestal will be equals to 3 into 250 which will be equals to 750 so 750 mm will be the maximum length of the pedestal so what does this mean let us go back to the picture so if the this column size is 250 to 300 and if this size this size this length does not will should not exceed your 750 mm or, or more than the least three times the least lateral dimension so hope it is clear now and uh, for example if the column size is uh, 400 in Uh, 400 into 300 so 300 is the least lateral dimension then we'll calculate the maximum length of pedestal at as 3 into 300 that is 900 so up to up to 900 mm if the height is given then it is called a pedestal so now hope it is clear what is uh, the difference between column and pedestal and how to calculate the maximum length of pedestal now when you know the length of pedestal to be given maximum length of pedestal to be given so now what is the reinforcements which you need to provide in a pedestal do we need to design a pedestal so that we can calculate the reinforcements like we do in case of column yes or no let's find out so in this clause i uh, that is 26.5.3.1 of longitudinal reinforcements in pedestal you can find out in the number h point number h that in case of pedestals in which the longitudinal reinforcement is not taken in account in strength calculations so it says that for pedestal pedestal uh, in which the longitudinal reinforcement is not taken into account in strength calculation the nominal reinforcement should not be shall not be less than 0.5% of the cross sectional area to be provided so uh, if the if the pedestals in case of pedestals in which the longitudinal reinforcement is not used for strength calculation if you just want to provide a pedestal so that uh, the load is transferred uh, safely then you can provide longitudinal reinforcements up to or you know more than 0.5.15% of the cross sectional area so suppose if the cross sectional area for this this particular column is 250 into 300 if we just calculate the cross sectional area of the column as you can do here just open the calculator and then we can just calculate the cross sectional area that is 250 into 300 So this is the cross sectional area of the column, and let us uh, find out what is the minimum area of steel which should be provided in the longitudinal reinforcements. In case of pedestal, it will be divided or multiplied by 0.15%. So it will be 0.0015. 
so this will be the area of uh, steel which should be uh, provided minimum area of steel which should be provided in the pedestal so we can provide this much minimum area of steel in the pedestal so basically this is the all about the pedestal what is the pedestal and what is, what is the minimum reinforcements which we need to provide in the pedestal so hope all your doubts got cleared here all the difference between column and pedestal so given brief overview a pedestal is a compression member like a column which is also a compression member but the least lateral dimension of the column is whatever is the least lateral dimension of the column the pedestal length should not exceed three times of it so if you have a column of 300 into 400 the least lateral dimension of the column it will be your 300 so three times 300 that is 900 the pedestal length this one should not exceed this 900 or three times the least lateral dimension so hope all of your doubts got clear so this is my knack and we'll meet in the next video bye